What's up Lego and Harry Potter fans? This is Derek Von S and I'm going to review the 2020 Diagon Alley. This cost $400 in the US and released on September 1st. It's set number 75978. It has 5,544 pieces, 14 minifigures plus one bonus, and the Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw mannequin torsos. So I'm going to call it 17 minifigures. There's four separate books here. Here's a little walkthrough of the street. I really think this is one of the best Harry Potter sets ever made. The micro castle is pretty amazing, but this is cool. You can put all the minifigures in it. And the Hogwarts castle, connectable ones, but that's a separate set. So this is all one set. So I think this is my favorite Harry Potter set. It is really cool to put the minifigures inside. Here's just a quick comparison of the micro scale Diagon Alley. It's kind of ominous how close the Weas Weasley's Wizard Wheezies look. We also have the quality Quidditch supplies and then Flourish and Blots, Ollivanders, and Gringotts, which I hope we get in a later set, along with Borgen and Burks. Here's, um, Honorable reference to the uh, green flu powder in the burrow in the Chamber of Secrets. This set basically takes up um, from the movie Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and also the Half Blood Prince. Right now, I'm, I'm going to show you all the minifigures. Here's the little uh, placard. It's almost like a UCS uh, Star Wars little plaque. It says, Welcome, Harry, to Diagon Alley. This was supposed to be a surprise in uh, box 21, but I'm sure uh, so many people saw it online already. But that really would have been cool to uh, actually have that as a surprise, because that's pretty cool to see Harry in his uh, Sorcerer's Stone outfit. Here's just the uh, regular Hagrid. I think we've got this in a few sets already. Then we'll get, move over on to the uh, Harry Potter from the Sorcerer's Stone. This is an exclusive minifigure for the set. It's really cool how they made the pants look like they're going up higher and everything looks all baggy. Here's the back printing. The alternate face is the same as the other figure in the set. But this connects more with the Chamber of Secrets after he winds up in Borgen and Burks. And then Hermione says Oculus Repero and fixes his glasses. Next we have the uh, new Ollivander, which has a red jacket versus the brown in the micro scale version. This expression has a pretty happy face. He also comes with the uh, new wand boxes here. You could just take off this and it fits a wand inside. I think it comes with about seven or eight in the Ollivander set. We have the orange, white, black, dark brown, and lighter brown. Here's his uh, alternate face expression, which he looks pretty troubled. This almost looks like whenever Harry uh, waved the wand and broke the lamp or made all the wands fly off the shelf. Next, we have another new figure. This is uh, Lucius Malfoy, which I swear in the pictures and on the box, his coat almost looks a little bit more red in color. And this is more of like a pretty dark tan you can barely even see it he has this new uh, blonde long hair piece he just has some of that fur on top you can see a little bit better up here this is the uh, chamber of secrets from the first cmf series i'm still waiting for my cmf series too or else i would have included that but it has a nice little uh, necktie and little tie on the jacket if only they could have made a some kind of piece to put on top of his staff to make it look more like his cane. That would have been great. Next up we have uh, L L uh, Draco Malfoy. And he has uh, the tie showing through unlike in the movie of Chamber of Secrets. But it's nice to get a different Slytherin uh, variant for all the different outfits. I don't know why they didn't match up his eyebrows. But I guess I'm not too worried about that. This is a good minifigure. It has a long hood in the back. 
This expression looks, he looks very, very angry. Okay. Next up we have the uh, Harry Potter. And uh, Harry Potter, Hermione, and Ron all have the same torsos with different pants. Harry has uh, brown ones and these ones. And like I said on the other side of the face, we have the expression when he uh, travels through Flourish and, uh, or I'm sorry, Borgen and Burks. These next two minifigures, I don't think the uh, head or hair piece are any different than the original 2018 Harry Potter sets. Here's Hermione with the uh, brown legs. Since these are uh, from the first two movies, uh, they have the short legs. This is uh, Ron Weasley. He's like a, like it looks like he's wearing jeans, like a blue color, I like that color, that's nice. Here's another new figure, this is the photographer from the Daily Prophet. He has a um, dual molded uh, hat hair combo right here. I'll try to show you the back of him. Oh, he just flew all, all the way over there. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's the uh, back I'll show, show off first. Okay, he has some uh, striping on the back. This almost looks like an old Tony Stark. I swear his beard is gray in the uh, in the movie, so I don't know why they couldn't match that up. He looks like he has some kind of bow necktie and also the jacket on the front. The camera, if you uh, watch the... Uh, video or watch the movie it looks just like this they've captured this very well with just only maybe like six pieces or so but this is the photographer in the daily prophet an exclusive minifigure for the set here we have florian fortescue which till up till this point i had no idea who this uh character was in the harry potter universe he has that new orange um cup piece here that we saw in the Ginny for the cmf series which I wish I had, I would have put that in the set just since she came with the chocolate ice cream and I think I have an extra spoon. Here's the uh, back printing, just a little bit of creases there. Here's the more happier expression. He has some uh, cool glasses there. This is another exclusive minifigure. He has a bow tie. This expression actually looks, uh, he looks uh, pretty troubled in this expression. I'm, I'm not sure what was going on with this one, actually. But uh, it's a cool minifigure. It makes me want to go to uh, Universal and go get some ice cream there, actually. Okay, next up we have uh, Ginny Weasley, which uh, she's wearing a pink shirt. And it looks like they matched up the uh, neck there to the face a little bit better. Maybe uh, Lego's getting uh, better with that. Unfortunately, this is the uh, sa same uh, face as uh, Susan Bones um, from the uh, Great Hall set. This uh, expression, she looks, she looks a little bit more troubled. But this is the uh, hair piece that came in the burrow for Ginny, which uh, I actually think this suits pretty well. It looks like her hair was hanging down to the sides just like this. Next up, we have the long-awaited Gilderoy Lockhart. This is such a good minifigure. He has his favorite color lilac suit on, has a nice gold shine to it. He has that cape, kind of like Lando Calrissian in the last uh, couple Star Wars sets. Here we have the Gilderoy Lockhart Magical Me. And uh, there is not any printing. It would have nice to maybe have his autograph in there or something. That would have been kind of neat. So they had the Lego minifigure form of that book. It's really cool. He has an alternate expression, which looks like... Almost when he's trying to escape or at the end of the Chamber of Secrets, whenever he's really scared when he realizes he doesn't know what he's up against and he's just a fraud, basically. But Chamber of Secrets and uh, Half-Blood Prince are two of my favorite movies, honestly, from Harry Potter. So I'm in love with this set, honestly. If you're worried about the money, I would definitely go out and buy it for 5,500 pieces and all the detail and... And this appeals to not only Lego fans, uh, maybe people that like modular buildings or cities. This is uh, Molly Weasley. 
there's like the back with the hood there. I'm pretty sure that the face is a little bit off on this one, but the hair still covers it up. This is the uh, same face from the Burrow set that we just got, actually, that I just showed you. She has that purple furry shirt on with the long brown robe. I wish they could have printed the skirt or even maybe just even the front of it. That would have been great. Uh, the book came with Ginny, but um, she was kind of smitten by seeing Gilderoy Lockhart, so I decided to give her the book. Okay. Uh, notably, um, they do not have Arthur Weasley in the set, so I've included him from the Burrow set. And also in Nocturne Alley, I've included uh, Bellatrix Lestrange and Fenrir Greyback, because uh, this scene actually does the, uh, depict the Half-Blood Prince pretty well. Okay, here we have Fred. These are uh, two uh, new figures. We haven't seen them since the last Diagon Alley. And I think they uh, really stepped it up with this one. They all have different face expressions. They were able to put that W on the tie. The way you can know this is uh, Fred is the orange vest there. Here's his uh, front face. Here's the back. Just has a little bit of stitching from his suit coat. This is a more happy expression. Looks like he's pretty happy there. I like this one. I really like these uh, Weasley figures. Okay, here's George. He has uh, the green vest and they, he also has the same W on the tie with the uh, brown jacket. And uh, this uh, laughing expression is he's laughing so hard his eyes are closed. So that's pretty funny. So you can either have them both laughing or both on. Uh, they still look pretty happy uh in a way so you can uh, mix those around whichever way you want just as long as you try to keep the uh, torsos correct okay so that's all the minifigures i put uh cho and hannah just sitting outside florian fortescue's just i thought that was fitting for minifigures uh just since they have those two patio chairs there with the uh teeth that they use for the uh, uh snake from the basilisk Okay, here I'm going to do a little uh, more detailed little look here. Here's the Weasleys, Wizard Wheezies. This was a really fun build. I do think this is the best building, which I didn't expect that. But just since it's such a standalone, on, uh, that pretty much on its own, these are all separate. So this is the first one. So the Weasleys, Wizard Wheezies, uh, takes up the whole little base plate they have they have this cool walkway here i had a great time uh building the uh character inside the windows and building the windows um the purple could have been a little bit darker but i'm okay with it there's the roof this has the play feature just to lift the head up the face does look a little bit a little bit strange but it looks a little bit better in person. Uh, honestly, once you put these together and you're looking at them, they always look a lot better. This one had a ton of stickers. There was like 40 stickers. Okay, this is uh, Flourish and Blots, the bookstore. They have these little bookcases outside. They have these new printed windows, which I'm glad they printed them because I think uh, they didn't trust pretty much the fans to line those right upright. And if you didn't have those printed, it wouldn't pop as well. Because uh, sometimes you can put on stickers crooked and it just, just doesn't work as well. But it has a nice slanted roof. The window sticks out. We have two gargoyles. We have these stickers that um, say reading room, bookseller, book binders. And they repeat all throughout. There we have the great uh, sign sticking out there. And that's what's so cool about this set is the, all the depth. And uh, you can see how cool quality Quidditch uh, sticks out there with all the signs. And there's so much detail on the set. It is pretty incredible. Okay, here is the second modular building. We have a Florian Fortescue's uh, ice cream parlor. Okay, it has this really cool awning and you stack those pieces up. I like how they did that. There's a little table with the purple ice cream sitting on the table we have the lamp sticking out 
This is kind of similar to the four privet drive roof. Okay, here we have the uh, third modular building, which is quality Quidditch supplies and the Daily Profit, which the Daily Profit pretty much has a hollow uh, ceiling and it's just almost like a little walkway for people to get their newspapers. But in uh, the wizarding world, I would say, uh, like tw 12 Grimwald Place, you can uh, enter that and it could be pretty much just as big as the quality Quidditch, if not bigger. So you can use your imagination in that sense. Here's the uh, quality Quidditch supplies. The uh, stickers on both of these look great. I love how they got this to uh, stick out on an angle just by kind of letting that like the weight take itself. It's really neat. They put these clear uh, cheese slopes at the end of these smaller bricks that are printed, which again, I'm glad they printed these. Okay. Here's the, uh, the lamp. Um, unfortunately, there's no way to... Get rid of that blue. I tried so hard. I tried to do a couple different things. You need the uh, brick with the uh, almost like the plus sign to push in and uh, to use um, the black piece for that one. So if you want to take away that brick, that tan brick, then you can fix that. But the uh, windows look really cool. The orange they've incorporated it looks it look, looks like it's aged, like it's almost like been like created like rust like hanging off it. It's really neat. Um, in the movie, it is pink. Um, I know a lot of people weren't happy with the pink, but I swear in the Sorcerer's Stone, when they first uh, walk around the uh, Diagon Alley, you can clearly see it's pink. Here's the uh, quality Quidditch and the Hogwarts crest. Here's the top here. I just put another owl just since it was right above the Daily Prophet. Here's the chimney and the uh, Stranger Things newspapers. It almost looks like the the, the uh, owls were kind of flipping out in there and all the uh, papers were going crazy oh no i will add here this uh hanging piece here is pretty cool with the with the quaffle and also the uh the golden snitch here's the last uh, modular building which um honestly ollivanders is my favorite this is pretty close to being my second favorite this reminds me of almost like the spider-man house in a way they have this uh crooked chimney up here which is cool the ollivander sticking out but the really cool part is almost like in Wiz wizard or i'm sorry we weasley's wizard wheezies that is a tongue twister i love how these windows stick out this is so extremely well done they have these uh sewer grates here along the more of that uh brick there i thought i was missing a piece but this actually does hover over and I think that's pretty cool how they managed to do that. So this is a uh, scribulus here, which I wish uh, they would have made in this set. Maybe something where they sell the owls. I think that would have been pretty cool. But with the space of Florian Fortescue's and scribulus, I'm I'm uh, happy with what they did. Here's just some more awning just sticking out here. Galleons for trading. Fear of flying lessons. It's cool how they're able to make all these windows kind of sink inward. Everything just looks so realistic. I want to shrink myself down and walk through this. Here's the uh, Scribulous writing utensil sticker. I did try to take my time uh, doing these stickers. It's very tedious. I definitely recommend taking your time. Here's just like a little lamp hanging off there. Okay, lastly, I'm just going to do a quick little uh, walk through the inside here. Okay, here's uh, Ollivanders. That's the uh, figure from the microscale version. There's some uh, wands in the windows with the boxes. Three under the uh, staircase, which you can just slide back and forth like this. Put Harry there when he gets his wand. Here we have a chair, a little table with maybe the elder wand, a lamp, a ladder, another wand box. There are um, some wand boxes, one here and one at the bottom that you can remove. There we have a little desk. I like the way they did this desk. It is pretty dark. I'm trying to help you see it as best as I can. I have this pretty lit up. Here's Gabrielle Delacour and Susan Bones getting their wands for their first time. Here we have uh, Scribulus, which has the uh, same little writing and quill with the lamp. There's a scroll in the front there 
which I think if I could, you can maybe see that a little bit. Just has some writing on it. It's kind of similar to in the uh, clock tower. There's the uh, little shelf where they sell their quills and ink and pads. Up here, which I will show you actually because he just fell out actually, but it's really hard to get a character to sit in this uh, chair here actually. So sometimes I put uh, Stan, or I'm sorry, I think that's Ernie actually, yeah. I put Ernie in the laying position that I find that works a little bit better. The couch can be removed. They do have the, um, this black piece where you can clip on the fire. So I added this fire actually, which it sticks out a little bit, but I think that looks a lot better. It looked kind of strange, like it, you almost didn't know what it is. There we have the uh, bottle with the uh, cap and the skull. Here's the inside of quality Quidditch supplies. And uh, we have uh, Marcus Flint, Oliver Wood. Just so we can see a little comparison with the... Uh, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw figures just to see them all together, which is really cool. I think it's a big uh, draw to the set as well. That's why I almost want to call it 17 minifigures just because this is uh, so cool. Just if uh, you want to just take a look at that and imagine uh, maybe if you bought two Quidditch sets, you can maybe pick up a couple of these on Bricklink and make a cool little mock. I'm sure people are going to add these to their mocks. There we have the broom, the Nimbus 2000. They have some shelves and some beaters. Upstairs, um, I put uh, Madam Pooch from the Bricktober and Harry Potter with the Golden Snitch also from the Quidditch set. And that is the Mario piece, actually. It says, uh, feel free to test fly any brooms. So we have two uh, brooms sitting on there. Also, we have two uh, little chests with two uh, red balls, another uh, beater stick, which that just flew out. Um... And also here is another shelf actually. The top is kind of a uh, filler here with the uh, rat, which kind of does uh, have a little bit of a little, maybe mark on the top. So maybe that's Scabbers. I think that might be actually. And then we have some cheese and some uh, newspapers here, which oddly enough, it has a little uh, pop-up like garage here, which um, I guess that's like a play feature for the rat, which uh, it's, I think this is just filler to make it connect because there are different ways you can connect the buildings. Uh, I think they wanted to line this up with the roof of the uh, wizard, Weasley's Wizard Wheezies. Okay, here we have Flourish and Blots. And I've uh, put um, Umbridge pretty shocked, actually, from the one set. Um, Slughorn's uh, filling in, actually, for Florian Fortescue at the counter there. There we have a shelf with a, one new orange. Uh, glass piece that you can remove, but the other ones uh, you can't take out there uh, put in place there, and then we have some vanilla ice cream uh, There's some pretty odd flavors for the ice cream choices uh, chocolate and peanut butter um, I'm sorry Give me One sec here Then we have uh, black beer and raisin bat juice and earwig, which is pretty strange and upstairs we have a nice uh, kind of little cozy uh, little living area. I have put the uh, the trolley lady pouring some tea. Um, this back area is kind of blank here. I think I just thought that fit pretty well right there. You can move this chair around here. You can kind of angle the lamp any way you want pretty much. Okay, here's um, Flourish and Blots, which uh, there's uh, Pro Professor McGonagall. This uh, staircase flips up just like this. I think these are just for storing purposes and it's nice to have a couple little play features built in. There's a cool bookshelf. I like how those slopes at the end there make them stick out. Here's the like kind of crooked books that are like stacked up in an odd way, like kind of like in the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, you can see it right behind Gilderoy Lockhart. Um, there's a big stack of books. I think that that's what they're trying to uh, represent in that sense right there. There we have the uh, Magical Me book, just on a plaque, just a little bit bigger version of it. But the same as uh, the ones you get with the two minifigures. Okay, They're, um, that's really cool. I wish they could have done maybe more of these. Uh, there's the dragons and alchemy with the pointing arrows, which is really cool. On the top I've put uh, Lupin and Tonks. 
it's really cool how you can fit so many mini figures in this. Uh, there is a ton of Harry Potter, fig Harry Potter figures uh, since 2018, so you can do a lot of cool things with this. Here's a little uh, shelf to read a book. This is the only actual book. Um, I wish they could have maybe done like almost like the Hogwarts student set where you could have pulled one of these books out. I'm not sure why they did that. Um, I'm sure you can modify that. That'd be cool to see some mods for this one. Here's the uh, Flourish and Blots. That's a nice sticker actually there. Lastly, we had the uh, Weasley's uh, Wizard Wheezies. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the uh, signing desk from Gilderoy Lockhart, which you can stack those books up on top of there and create the scene like kind of inside here and put the uh, Malfoys up on top. I like these little arches, actually. I will note that. Okay, here's the uh, Weasley's Wizard Wheezies, which uh, this is from uh, The Half-Blood Prince, um, one of my favorite movies. Um, so I've put uh, Luna from the Astronomy Tower, reading the book upside down, actually, because she does like to read the Quibbler upside down. I thought that was kind of funny. We have just like so much detail in here with all the shelves. These, uh, there's this space back here behind Hermione. That's from uh, the Astronomy Tower as well. Um, I feel like it's a perfect spot to put this love potion little side build. Um, which you could put it outside, but um, there's a lot of space back there. And you can almost like, kind of see it through the window. Kind of like the overall whole set pretty much has a lot of stuff on the display and a lot of things for sale. There's the Dancing Doxy sticker. It says, uh, drives cats crazy. I think that's pretty hysterical. Okay, there's a little cash register. And it's uh, pretty neat how they were able to make the staircase go all the way up through this whole set. It says, uh, more magical mayhem up, up. And this one doesn't have any of that, uh, the railing, which is okay. It's nicer for a play feature. Here's the, uh, balloons in the, and in the movie, um, these are hanging more like in the middle. So you can spin that around and angle that. That does fall off very easily. I will note that. Here's a uh, Ginny. Also from, uh, or actually this is from the Burrow. And uh, there we have uh, the three lollipops and the stacked up boxes in the back there. That is maybe my only little downfall to the set is it, it's hard to reach some things maybe. There's the Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder. Which I wish that was easier to get in but that's a really nice little Easter egg there. We have a box uh, with a juggler there. The steps incorporate the uh, alternating orange, green, and pink. There we have like a cool little uh, moon rock with more uh, Weasley supplies stacked up. I think those are just some boxes there. Some extra supplies. They have these two little micro scale figures here. Pr pretty much to represent Fred and George. Okay, and uh, next to here we have... Uh, all of, uh, 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 uh. Lavender Brown, okay, the Lavender Brown, okay, and uh, that's when uh, he pretty much has the crush, she pretty much has the crush on Ron, so. Um, this set is so amazing, I am, uh, couldn't wait to get it, I actually ordered it uh, online and I missed the buck beak unfortunately, but here's just like the back of the box here, just showing you the different names of the sets. Showing a couple different scenes off from the movies. There's the minifigures and a couple more scenes. Okay, and uh, there's the Mandalorian. I didn't build it yet. I wanted to take this video first. So um, I uh, look forward to making um, videos in the future. Thank you very much. And uh, please subscribe. And stay safe out there. Thank you very much.